So Argyle, Texas may be on your radar to look at when moving to Dallas-Fort Worth. Today, I'm gonna go over really great reasons to move to Argyle and maybe things you need to think about that could be cons that steer you away from Argyle. It might be a really great thing to watch, so stay tuned. I'm Tiffany. I'm a local realtor here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If this is your first time to our channel, then welcome. This is where we drop everything you need to know about life in Dallas-Fort Worth. For over a decade, I've been helping people just like you move here, and I know I can help you too. So whether you need to move in nine days or nine months, reach out. All of our information is below. You can text us, call us, email us. We'll even Zoom. We would love to get all of your questions answered. What I would love, 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 and what would help out our little small business here in the Dallas Fort Worth area is if you'll hit the little thumbs up button that these videos help you make a decision when it comes to moving here and relocating to Texas. Um, also subscribe. We would love to get you more videos about everything that's happening in living um, in life in Dallas Fort Worth, but it really helps our algorithms if you hit that thumbs up button. So with all that being said, let's get started. So obviously there are definitely some pros and cons when it comes to moving to Texas and the Dallas Fort Worth area, but specifically to Argyle, we're going to go over things that are a little bit different because Argyle is a little bit of a different city when it comes to the things I've shown you guys before. And Argyle is known as a very country, low key, very small town when it comes to the Dallas Fort Worth area because Dallas Fort Worth is such a huge metropolis. Argyle is just this itty bitty town close to Fort Worth that most people haven't even heard of. But the pro of it or one of the pros is you feel like you're stepping back in time. It, I mean, it's a small town country feel and the population is right at 4,300. And so it really helps you feel like you're living in small town, but yet you are 15 minutes to Denton, Texas and, you know, 20 to 30 minutes to Fort Worth, if that, maybe in traffic. So you have that low key, peaceful lifestyle but still have all the amenities with just you know minutes away so i think that if you're looking for that small town feel if you want that safe where your kids can play outside no matter what time of day it is um then then argyle's a really great place to look a con to that in the same breath is the fact that because the population is so small you're not going to have a lot of options for dining and shopping and nightlife they're pretty much, I mean, there's just, there's just not a lot. And so if you want that, know that you're going to have to drive to Denton or to Fort Worth, um, to Dallas. I mean, it's going to take you 45 minutes to an hour just to get to Dallas. Um, but you know, going out there for, you know, a Saturday, uh, that track, that trek, because it's a, such a long time to get there, um, is worth it because Dallas has so much to offer, but then you want to get there experience Dallas, and then go back to that quiet little community um, of Argyle. So pro, yes, you feel like it's a small town, and it is, but the con is there's not a whole lot to do. Um, a pro is also the proximity to all the major cities, which is what I just said. You're really close to Denton, and Denton is the home of the University of North Texas. It's a huge a metropolis, um, offers everything. And then, and, and that's really the closest city. And then you've got Fort Worth, which is south. I mean, maybe 20 minutes to get there. If you want to go to downtown, like Cowtown, it might take you 30. But Fort Worth is unbelievable. And you'll need to keep an eye out for our video uh, vlogs on Fort Worth because there's so much that that city has to offer that it's just amazing. But that's a pro is that you're so close to, to so many big cities. South Lake's one of them. You could probably get to South Lake in about 20 minutes. Um, talk about luxury shopping and eating. South Lake offers that. And then also you are about 30 minutes from the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. You're a lot further to Love Field. You're looking at 45 minutes to an hour to Love Field. But Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, it's just a quick 30 minute drive. A con that I think is a pretty big deal depending on your age is if you are a younger person, if you are single or you're a young married couple with no kids, 
you are going to see that Argyle does not have a ton to offer you when it comes to nightlife or restaurants or shopping. <laughs> Again, it is a con and if the younger you are, the more it might impact you. And so just know that it may not be the best place for you to live. Another pro is that one of the best things about Argyle is it's got these huge expensive ranches and there are pro athletes, there are celebrities that have ranches out there that are stunning and offer beautiful rolling um, hills and wide open spaces with luxury homes. And so if that is something that you are wanting, but still to be in relative close um, proximity to those bigger cities, then Argyle may be the perfect place for you. And there's so much value out there because you can still get great land and great luxury ranches at a pretty good price um, that I think it's worth looking out there if that's something that you're wanting. A pro that Argyle has is their school systems. They have an A plus rating and it's one of the top spots in Texas to raise a, uh, a family. So you're rated six in suburbs in all of Dallas Fort Worth. That's what Argyle is rated. So that is pretty fantastic. When we have all these suburbs in Dallas Fort Worth and Argyle gets number six, and most people don't even know where Argyle is. So that means it's pretty good. But yes, the ISD is known for um, teaching and interaction. It's not huge. So kids are getting more interaction um, with teachers and they actually are ranking um, some of the highest levels in math in the district. So I think that is fantastic as well. But yes, if you're looking to move to Texas and you want that high end um, school district, with a better teacher to student ratio, then Argyle's definitely a great place. I mean, I just think it ranks really high out there. Also with the school districts, if you're looking for a private school, Liberty Christian is out there. It's got a huge campus out there and Liberty Christian is actually ranked um, one of the top private schools in the entire state of Texas. So, and it ranks high in the whole nation. So if that is something that you want is whether it's that small town feel, but still putting your kids in a competitive private school, then Liberty is definitely something that you wanna check out. Another pro to living in Argyle is you can have the best of both worlds when it comes to new construction or pre-existing older neighborhoods, because there are major, major master planned communities going in out there that you can literally still build it and choose everything inside of it with builders. There's over two dozen builders building in Argyle and those master plan communities. Harvest is one of the most amazing master plan communities that I've ever seen. You guys, I've done um, vlogs on it. So look up Argyle vlog and Harvest um, subdivision master plan community because it is unreal what they're offering out there. And so you can also get older established homes um, and even some of them that were built in the early 2000s that you might get a better deal on because they haven't been updated yet. And then you can go in and give your touch and your design taste through updating that home and, and bringing it back to life. So there's so many amenities to these master plan communities, the new ones that I'm talking about. Um, everything from resort style pools to full on gyms, playgrounds, splash pads, dog parks, coffee houses, um, hiking, biking. They even have fully stocked fishing ponds. Some of these communities actually have full time event planners to bring the communities together with wine tastings. They have huge outdoor yoga days. They put on events for the kids, obstacle courses. I mean, it's pretty freaking fantastic out there. And so definitely um, let me know if that's something that you just think that you guys would dive into from learning how to grow your own produce to, you know, learning how to paint and play a musical instrument. It's unbelievable. So reach out and I can give you um, more information on that. Another pro that I think is wonderful about Argyle is the fact that you can still get into Argyle without, you know, chopping off one of your arms in order to afford the house. So you can still find places in Argyle in the 300s all the way up into the millions, but these are really great, even new construction where you can get in um, in the mid 300s. So I just think that there are so many builders out there in um, new homes going in that you're going to invest in these houses and then in five years when Argyle's way more on the map um, you're just gonna you're gonna benefit from that property value so much obviously another pro and I've brought this up in other videos is the weather here 
Yeah, there are going to be every once in a while. There's a really cold day. There's some really hot months. But um, for the most part, our weather's freaking amazing. And, I mean, it's January 1st right now, and it was 70 degrees out there today. It's just wonderful. We do have cold days um, and, and cold weeks, and sometimes we have ice. Um, and everything shuts down because nobody knows how to deal with ice. But for the most part, and that's a con, you know, because it does get really, really cold on some days. But for the most part, our weather is amazing. I will say that July and August will, um, they're like evil stepsisters. They're horrible. They're just so hot. So that is a con. Those two months are cons. We don't get along with July and August. You can literally walk to your mailbox to get your mail and you are just dripping sweat because it's that bad but the rest of the year makes up for it because it's so mild and beautiful and wonderful um, another con that i do like to bring up to people moving here is our property taxes sometimes they're a little um, shock value-ish when people see them but you have to remember that we do not have a state income tax and so our property taxes look high but you don't there's a whole extra tax you're not even going to pay so it, you have to remember that. And the, our governor actually said that he was going to help bring property taxes down. So we're hoping that he sticks with that and it's gonna help all of us out. But we also have what is called a homestead exemption, which is a pro. And you can file a homestead exemption on your primary residence. And I can help you um, do that and explain it more to you, but it helps give you a discount on those property taxes. So all that to be said, Argyle's awesome. Especially if you want that small town, peaceful safe feeling at all times Argyle's what's going to give that to you so that's what I'm going to say stick into it with Argyle Texas it's a wonderful place if you have any questions feel free to reach out again please um, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we would love to get you everything you need to know about life in Dallas Fort Worth thank you so much for watching this video and until the next video comes out you guys have a wonderful rest of your day